All right, I'm going to show you how to use Launchpad in the new Mac OS Big Sur. And you're going to find that it's just like your iPad apps or your iPhone apps. And I'm going to show you how they work on the desktop. And you're going to notice something very interesting about this. This is much like uh, your iPhone or your iPad. If you notice, you've got all your apps in here. They're all round like they are on the iPhone and the iPad. And if you look here, you've got pages of apps. And you can see the what they've done to change some of these apps uh, as far as their presentation. They're more rounded. And look, here Pages has a, a stylus through it. Keynote looks kind of the same. Home looks a little bit different. So, you know, instead of rumbling my finger over the screen, which I'm sure that's going to be the next thing, I run it over the mouse to the right, and it brings me to another page. Look, there's image capture. Look at the difference there. You can play chess. You've got a font book. you got Final Cut Pro here. i got some of the other applications here. And if I go one more, i got more. Isn't that crazy? Now, if I grab this and I pull it this way, I can bring it over here, just like on iPhone. Watch this. I was going to try to highlight these three and then pull them over, but I think you have to do them one at a time. All right, let's do one more. All right, the way you move these is you put your cursor on the application, press down your mouse, drag it, and then drop it. <laughs> cool, huh? Now I'm only going to have... All right, so check it out. Look, now I've got two pages. And you can do bubbles, too. I think if I pulled Express into um, a book author or into uh, some of these other things... Oh, here, look, text edit. It's a little bit different, too, right? So what you can do is you can change your this page here if you want. Like, if you don't want these things together, you know, you could create a bubble with these. Like, if I took this and I pulled it here... Look, I've got a bubble now. Check it out. There's my graphics and design. So now I could go over here and I could pull Express over, right? Whoops. I could pull Express into this page. And then I could take this and I could pull it into this bubble. Bam. So now I've got, I'm putting all my graphic design stuff in here, right? Little things that I use. And then if you wanted to get that out of the bubble, you could just go like that, <laughs> you know, or I could put it back in. So it works just like the iPhone. Isn't that cool? All right, so here's something that's interesting. So let's say you don't want to have an application in here. So let's go to this, let's go here and let's press on our mouse and push down on this uh, application. So just like an iPhone or an iPad, you can put this into a jiggle mode, and that's a mode where you can edit and delete apps. Now, if you look, it's got little X's, and if you click that X, this application will disappear. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and click, click We Transfer and see what happens. It says, "You are you sure you want to delete the application We Transfer?" I don't want to delete that application because I use that application. So let's cancel that. And to get out of the jiggle mode, just like iPhone, you click on an open field with your mouse. Some of them you can't delete. Look at this. This toolkit will not allow me to delete it. Right? QuickTime won't allow me to delete it. But I could delete books and author, and I could delete Final Cut Pro, and I could delete Lightroom, and we transfer. But the other ones, it doesn't allow me to. So this is like jiggle mode, and you can just slide over for jiggle mode. You can see, look, I could delete these. That's weird. I wonder why they don't let, allow you to delete these other ones. All right, so let's go ahead and click out of jiggle mode. All the things that you can do on your iPhone, apparently you can do on this, but you got to use the mouse. You know, you can move the applications. You can you can make bubbles. Like, let's go ahead and make a bubble in here so we have more room. I'm going to take podcast, music, and garage band, and I'm going to make a bubble. When I say bubble, I mean a folder. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to pull it into music, uh, TV, music, and put those all together. So I pull that over, makes that bubble, click out of it, pull this one over. Whoops, pull this one in there, makes that bubble. And I'm going to take GarageBand, pull it in there. So I push, I'm going to take iMovie and pull it in there. Get in there. <laughs> These are things I really don't use that often, so I'm just kind of pu pulling them inside there. And now it's given me one, two, three, four more things. I'm going to put mission control in there too. Let's see, what else do we want to put in there? Well, I don't you really use reminders, so I'll put that in there. Why are, you, why are you doing that? Oh, it doesn't, it's not letting me put reminders in there. Right. See that? So, so some of them, they won't allow you to do that. <laughs> That's interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's see if I can put books in there. Okay, that's cool. I got books in there. How about dictionary? I don't ever use that. 
And uh, what else do we want to put in there? Let's put home in there because I never use that. Oh, there we go. It let me put it in. Now I can put everything from this page on there because I definitely use Final Cut Pro. So I want that there. I want image capture there because I use that. Because I do a lot of, uh, you know, and I do yeah, I use QuickTime all the time. So we got to get that in there. Lightroom I use all the time. Let's get that in there. Chrome, let's get that in there. Let's put Book Author in there too. I mean, I don't really use these. I use WeTransfer a lot. All right, let's go back in here and check it out. And I could put a couple more in here. So if I pulled, let's say, Time Machine over, put it there, and I pulled Font Book over, now I could take Font Book, I could pull it over here into this bubble. Come on. All right, and then I could take, and I could put, what was the other thing? Oh, this thing, Time Machine in there. <laughs> it won't let me put Time Machine in there. All right, so let's look at this one. So I've got, I've got, I can, look, it looks like I can even make these pages bigger. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things in there. And uh, I'm just going to put um, <clears throat> Apple. That's how you edit that folder. You just write that in there. Apple apps. How about that? Because these are all things that Apple puts on there. And now it's Apple apps. So that's pretty cool. Now I want to organize this. So I want all the things that I use all the time, I want to kind of get them all together. So I've got um, Lightroom, QuickTime, Image Capture, Final Cut Pro right in the center because I use those all the time. And Preview I want to put right there. Oh, look at that. It's not, it's pushing, pushing me up here. All right, so let's, um, let's push this one here. Nah, there we go. Let's push this one there. Push that there. All right, photos, I'll leave that there because I really don't use that because I use Lightroom. And um, we could put Chrome up here. So those are those are our two browsers. You know, I don't really use notes. Let's bring that down here. I definitely use this. I want to put that there. There we go. All right, so let's see. Well, let's pull one more over. Oh, graphic design. Let's pull that over. And let's put that over here. Because <laughs> those things I use, all this stuff is my art stuff that I do. And um, if you wanted to search something, let's say uh, Final Cut, look, it comes right up, and then it goes right back to this. So those are a couple other things that you can do in this application. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff on your Mac OS Big Sur. Peace out.